So let's talk about process of health research. Any research is basically a process. It contains multiple components and each and every component is of critical importance. So first, ensure that data is collected systematically. Second, draw meaningful conclusion and make appropriate decisions. And if data quality is good, then we can do that. And third, take appropriate actions for prevention and treatment or control of disease. And this is known as evidence-based action. And fourth, this should help in reduction of suffering and improve the health and well-being of the community. So this is the entire process of research. Study variables in health research. So when we talk about the kind of information that we collect in research, uh, we can have range and uh, of breadth and depth as well. And there could be multiple angles which are required to be collected and we call them as study variables. So first variable is a uh, human and human host is the first variable. So it could be healthy, it could be susceptible population, it could be disease or it could be dead population. So we have to figure out how we can get required information from this kind of subject from these various kinds of host. The second is environment. So climatic factor, housing, vectors, animals, sociocultural practices, family structures and most of the diseases are multifactorial in origin and environment and society play a significant role in causation or occurrence of disease. The third is healthcare infrastructure and delivery. Access to health is a critical component. If people are not able to assess health in time, complications and death rate are unusually high in nature. Now let us talk about scope or objectives of health research. So first is estimation of disease burden in population. That means we can know exactly what is the prevalence of any disease in a population. Second, we can predict progression of disease in a patient. Third, we can get additional or new information. For example, are more of the diphtheria and pertussis cases reported among adults in recent times? We used to know that this were the disease of childhood earlier, but now it has been seen that some rare instances, the cases in adults are also getting reported. So we need to figure out why this is happening and where is it happening. So we are getting additional information or new information apart from the old one. The second example that we can give is what are the differences in full genome structure of HBV and HEV and it could have implication in terms of understanding its pathogenesis as well as decision making in respect to vaccine developments against the, both of these viruses. So third objective is verifying con or confirming the available information. Sometimes we have the information but we want to verify it and confirm it. For example, are etiology of pediatric pneumonia different in children age 5 or less? and developed or resource limited countries have the incidence and complication of diabetes changed with increasing consumption of pre-cooked or packaged food and this is the kind of research that is usually happening in our country nowadays then the next objective is to find out cause and effect relationship for example uh, does presence of a particular co-receptors on cd4 protect against hiv infection are breast cancers more common in breast implant recipients right so we are trying to establish a relationship between cause and its effect the next objective of research is testing new drugs a new vaccine new tools new intervention either for prevention treatment or control of disease for example can isoniazid prophylaxis delay the onset of tuberculosis in hiv infected persons will introduction of smoke leaf serves result in reduction of respiratory morbidity and mortality in rural areas the next objective is evaluating ongoing programs and assessing feasibility of new programs. Is it injectable iron is sucrose is better alternative to deal with pregnancy related anemia than oral iron? And the next uh, objective is improving the health of population. Now let us see various uh, MCQs or questions which are being asked from these topics. So first is health research is usually focused on which of the following areas. Can we establish or estimate the disease burden in population? Yes. Prevention of common disease in community? Yes. Evolution of public health program? Yes. So all of the above is the answer. The next question is a researcher wants to study relationship between COVID-19 infection in pregnancy and birth weight. Currently there is no evidence on this topic. Which of the following option is the scope of this health research? So we want to 
know that it and it falls under which scope of the research whether we are trying to verify and confirm the known information we are getting additional or new information or we are evaluating ongoing programs for example they have written that currently there is no evidence on this topic so we have no existing information so first option is out there is actually no program which we are evaluating so we are left with only second option that is we are getting new information about covid 19 right so the b is the answer which of the following areas can be included in health research? Improving health of population? Yes. Predicting progression of disease in patient? Yes. Prevention of various disease? Yes. To explore various societal, community-based or programmatic intervention for disease prevention control? Yes. So basically all four are included in scope of health research. So I will go for option C.